Hi students, we are discussing cross-border alliances and in cross-border alliances we have discussed different forms of cross-border alliances which are mergers and acquisitions and international joint ventures. Now another form of uh, cross-border alliance because um, mer mergers and acquisitions as well as international joint ventures, they usually take place in multinational enterprises. Uh, there is another form of enterprises existing in the economy which play a very important role in economy of the entire world as well as the in in economy of individual nations. And these are SMEs, small and medium enterprises. Uh, regarding how to define an SME, there is no strict definition of an SME. Uh, the European Commission definition of uh, 2005, uh, it defines uh, SMEs uh, by three criteria. So SME can be defined by using a headcount, how many people are uh, working in that organization, Secondly, on the basis of annual turnover, and third, annual balance sheet total. So according to the European Commission definition of 2005, medium-sized enterprise is that which is employing 250 or less people, or has an annual turnover of 50 million euros or less, or has an annual balance sheet total of 43 million euros or less. That is a medium-sized enterprise. Or a small-sized uh, enterprise is the one which is, uh, which employs 50 or less people, has an annual turnover of 10 million euros or less, or has an annual balance sheet total of less than 10 million euros or less. In Pakistan, uh, the definition of SME, the cutoff values for SMEs are a little bit different and in rupee amount. Uh, according to the SME policy 2007, an enterprise is considered a small or medium enterprise if it has up to 250 employees or up to rupees 25 million paid up capital or up to rupees 250 million annual sales. So that is the criteria of an SME. And in uh, European Commission policy, you saw that a medium enterprise and a small enterprise is differentiated. Whereas in Pakistan, the SME is considered as one category. So small and medium enterprise, only one criteria is there. Uh, 250 or less employees and 250 million paid off capital or 250 million annual sales up to, up to that uh, number. Uh, so for Pakistan, an SME consider is an SME, an organization is considered to be an SME on these criteria. SMEs, they play a very important role in the entire economy of the world. Uh, so in um, European um, area and Sweden, 99% of uh, 16 million enterprises in EEA and Sweden are SMEs. Uh, so 99% enterprises in Europe, Europe ke andar, wo SMEs and two-thirds of the jobs are provided by the SMEs. In Asia-Pacific region, 90% uh, of all enterprises are SMEs and about 32 to 48% of employment is provided by the SMEs. Uh, similarly, in America, 80% of the employment is provided by the SMEs with enterprises having less than 20 employees. So 20 employees have become a uh, key organization of firms hai, they are providing 80% of employment in the Americas. Uh, in Pakistan, the figures are 70% of employment is provided by the SMEs and 80% of the enterprises 
are SMEs. So you can see that SMEs, they hold a huge importance in economy of the entire world and also for Pakistan. So that is how you define an SME and that is the importance of SME for the entire world.